Okay. Oh, is that nice and wide? Wide angle for the car? So, today is a little bit different video. We're doing a photography challenge. You'll remember back in the day when you used to go out with your folks and they could only really afford a roll of film and you could only take 12 photos. So that's my goal today. There's no saving it. So I'm just going to go out and just try and pay a bit more attention to my photography rather than spray and pray, which we all tend to do with our phones and our cameras and all that sort of stuff. So let's go do some photography. So a couple of rules for this photography challenge is one, you get 12 shots and that's it. If you stuff it up, you stuff it up. Because back in the day you'd get a roll of 36 and that would be for your whole two week holiday. And whatever photos you got you were stuck with. So I've already stuffed my first photo, here it is here. I was trying to get a nice photo of me and Tish and our shadows on the footpath here to sort of symbolise the start of our day. And I cut my head off, it's on an angle, it's terrible. So I've already stuffed the first photo, but uh, that's how it is. Now I've got to pay more attention to the rest of my photos. I mean, you can still see our shadows on the concrete, but I didn't, I didn't set it up right. I didn't take my time with it, I just rushed it. Which is what we learn to do with digital cameras, is just rush stuff all the time. Hey, t Hello. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna talk you through the day quickly. We started off, we got out of the car, and we're walking along the pier, and I just wanted to get a shot resembling me and my daughter having a great day out, holding hands as we're walking down the path. Had to use the timer, had to set up the focus, had to set up the exposure, everything, before I pressed the butt shutter button. And this is a result here. What was the second, what was the third shot? Um, the ice cream. Yeah, oh, no. So, I took two photos of the ice cream. And I don't think, like, actually none of these photos from today are like award-winning photography or landscape photos or anything like that. And so the ice cream one was just a bit of a random one because we both got a nice ice cream. I got the sherbet with Kit Kat and Tish got the choc with Kit Kat. flake. Flake, yeah. Choc with flake. So the purpose of today has been to record the actual day and get the best photos I can with the camera. But the main thing is to have a good day out, take the photos and then share them with my family and friends afterwards. And that's what photography is a lot of the time for me. But it's also nice to have these little challenges along the way. Then what was the sixth one? Oh, the jetty. Yeah, the jetty. So I tried to take one of the jetty, where I was just looking down at the jetty, and it was wide angle, so I was trying to get in a lot of the, the floor of the jetty. I think it was a little bit different. Most people just get looking straight down the jetty, you know, or the pelican on the pole, or all that sort of stuff. But I got this one where the floor is really the main subject. And then you can see off in the distance, you can see the rest of the jetty. So I like it. I think it was different. I did have to think about it because I didn't want to do the usual jetty shot. Maybe you think it is the usual jetty shot. Where's Tish? I know you're up there forever. <laughs> <laughs> then later on, I actually took two from underneath the jetty. And I'm not happy with either of them. But the first one, the... Uh, I'm using a JB Gorilla Pod and it was just wobbling all over the place in the wind and it was terrible. Second one I used tap the screen to take the photo. And it was a disaster. I don't really like it. I do normally like getting long exposure shots under a jetty. I think they look awesome. And here's a photo I took a few years ago under a jetty. But this one today well, it didn't work out. I think uh, there was ninth one was Tish in the playground. Just looking out over the balcony, I think that was a nice one. We'll remember the playground. Then there was two of pigeons playing in the bath. 
The pigeons playing in the bath was, was challenging because people kept walking up to it. Kids were trying to, you know, scare the pigeons. Animals were scaring the pigeons. So it was a bit of a rush job. I liked the second one. The first one got four pigeons in. The second one focused on one pigeon who was puffing his chest out, trying to be a bit of a hero. So that's how I got the pigeons. What was the next one? I don't know. I was on the on the uh, old rock wall. You can see it here. Because we were taking a picture of the albatross, I think it is. I'll put up the correct name of the bird here. So then I just took this one now of Tish doing cartwheels. Actually round offs. Round offs, just being corrected. This one of her doing the cartwheels, I actually had to use a really fast shutter, had to line up my focus manually because she came into the frame quickly. So actually we did a few practice runs but didn't take any photos. Got the frame rate right, got the ISO right and then took the photo. So she did about five or six runs before we actually took the photo. And I, I think it's okay, it's a good photo. What do you reckon, Tish? They're good. You like them? Yeah. There's my biggest fan. <laughs> Tish, you're my fan. I think I stuffed at least two and the rest are pretty average, but this is what it was like, you know, if you went out for the day, you had 12 photos to tell your story, and they got printed out and they got put in an album and that's where they stayed and that was the story i mean it didn't get you didn't get a thousand photos and 4k or 8k video you got one roll of film so that's why i like doing this it does challenge me to think a bit better and most of my photos that i do get are keepers um yeah it's been good fun and the spot we're at is actually called shawncliffe in brisbane queensland australia it's a beautiful spot Beautiful. Good day. It's been a good day. Really good day. So that's it. Thanks for watching this photography challenge. Give it a go. Let me know how it went for you guys. And there'll be more coming soon. Check ya! <laughs> <laughs>